Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. We've returned once again to the mansion, but this time we've got some new magics, including the one that should allow me to open up the dresser. I Except I forgot which one is which. I think it's... Ah, oh, right D-pad is damage field. It's left D-pad. Reveal invisible. And with that, we should be able to use the key. Let's open it up. Ooh. Inside is a chrome finished revolver and a tattered page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. A journey into darkness. be in our possession, my liege. Never underestimate the power of Mantarok. Even in death, it corrodes all about itself. It is unguarded. The presence of the Corpse God causes fear in all who come near it. It has torn entire villages asunder and made the region uninhabitable. Only the foolish would venture near it. Even so, what may be easy to take may be easily taken away. Fear not. For centuries we have searched for something that was before us all the time. Mantarok's essence never left the city temple, and with it located, we are one step closer to your freedom, Master. Yes, yes. Make haste. Between the Gladius and the fact that I just got the revolver, I think I'm going to be actually fighting with Alex pretty soon. So we have a bunch of revolver ammo, right? Yeah. 20 rounds there, along with the 5 already in it. Let's take a look at this page. The Ancients' influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently, requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery riddled two-week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. I didn't need to know about the dysentery part. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. If that person isn't an evil scientist, then... Man. I'd be surprised. And I will give you an early bonus. God! You are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Don't be a fool. Die quietly. 
and you will not suffer. You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb, just as it is Mantarox. Guardians of Ulyath, kill him! I get to play now, don't I? Let's do it. That is a very strange color mist. Is it supposed to be that color? That seems to be missing every shot. Do I need to wait for it to like open up? Yes. How much ammo do I have? I've got- wait, I've got a shotgun? Hold on, I've got lots of things on me. 40 pistol rounds, 30 shotgun, I've got a archaeologist's brush? <laughs> Maybe that'll come in handy later. A uh, torch, a kukri, and a shotgun, and the pistol. Uh, auto- auto- automatic pistol? No? I'm pretty sure it's not automatic. Let me hold down the shoot button and see if it shoots like a machine gun. No, that's definitely very semi-automatic. Huh. Let's try the shotgun. So we're back here, but much further in the future than when we last visited it. Is there a way to reload your weapon before it gets completely empty? I don't know. Because the button that you used to reload it doesn't work when it's not actually empty. But, like, there's gotta be a way, right? Can you mix it with the shotgun? Yeah, so you can do that. That kind of sucks, though, but I guess it's not too bad. I'm certainly not going to do it during combat, probably. Okay, I'm just going to leave. Goodbye. Lindsay has no intention of leaving the temple yet. He is determined to get to the artifact before Augustine does. No one crosses Edwin Lindsay. Yeah, so basically I'm like Indiana Jones or something, right? statue of a seated goddess. Where her neck and wrists should bear jewelry, there are merely worn grooves and flecks of bronze dust, had they been stolen by grave robbers. Can I use my archaeologist's brush? Nah. I'm curious what the description for the so-called automatic pistol is. Since 1907, this weapon has been a trusted sidearm to U.S. armed forces. Through two world wars, Korea and Vietnam, the Colt M1... Uh, M1... M1911, I think it's how it's pronounced, automatic pistol has proven itself to be a reliable firearm with a good stopping power. Okay, well, just out of curiosity, I googled it, and I guess they're not entirely wrong. I mean, the type of weapon is a semi-automatic, of course, but apparently the original name was... Something like automatic pistol. During like World War II and Vietnam and stuff. So I guess around the time it originally came out, it was known as an automatic pistol. So, fair enough. Is anything open? Ooh, what's this? A thick layer of dust obscures the tiles of the floor. This is probably where I use the brush. Yes. Archaeology uncovered... A strangely shaped candy cane. A bronze bracelet has been discovered under the dust covering the floor. Is 
that go onto the statue? My time to grab the book. You know what? Like, the pistol is so good. I think I'm just going to save the guns for bosses and stuff. Sorry, did I just say the pistol? I meant the, like, melee weapons are so good against these general enemies. Might as well just use them. Go back here just to uh, enchant it. Enter by Looks like that's set correctly. Wonder if the traps still work. <laughs> okay, they do. Oh, we got one of those teleporter things over there. Let's reset this. What? How did I touch that? Ah, whatever. Were they triggered by that little creature, maybe? I'm not sure. <gasps> run! Don't run. Cute little thing. Now is the time to use a shotgun. Also, yeah? Well, guess what? I can do my own. How do you like that damage field? I see neither of us care. Okay, then. Oh, that's that bronze necklace that I put on top of it a while ago. So, like... Can I not even shoot you? Ah. So the damage field not only damages other enemies, but it actually just like insulates you, so it's like a shield. And I need to deal with that to get the necklace behind it, it looks like, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's probably some sort of a dispel spell, right? I'm guessing. But for now, I think we need to just take this necklace back. Hmm, that sculpture looks like that sort of boss monster. I mean, it's not really a boss. It's just kind of a mini-boss, I guess. Stone statue of a naga, a snake-headed demon, stands guard in the corner of the room. 
A raised platform stands before it with a bracelet on it. Really? What if I don't want to? Mm -mm. Do I have something to replace it with? I guess not for now. Guess I'll find something to replace it with soon. Shotgun hit multiple enemies at the same time. Whoa. <laughs> that was instant. Uh, I'm not sure. These tend to explode in groups, so... Can't really tell. Did you explode yet? Yeah, we're good. Actually, can we do anything with that rune? Uh, what rune did we just get? this one, right? I'll wait till I get the spell. Oh shit. Oh, that works. The corner is shrouded with dense cobwebs, casting it into shadow, perhaps even hiding something. There's a spell. Dispel magic, I knew it. Okay, but I guess I don't have the runes to do it yet, or I would have auto-completed it. Right? Closed door lying in shadow seals off the passageway. Hiding in the shadow, a statue watches over the room. A brief inspection reveals flecks of silver. Ah, so this is what needs that silver bracelet to open the door. I mean, could I replace it with the other bracelet that I put on the other statue? But if I take that off, I probably couldn't come back here, right? I'm not sure. So dispel magic. Should I try to make it? now? let's keep exploring before I try to make it, because I probably will find the runes I need. Oh. Oh, it loops around to here. Well, let's just check the spell. Nethlek and Regamore. What color is it? It's blue, right? So I want green. Regormor, that's area. And I guess the unknown one is probably Nethlek. Okay, cool. Let's assign it to... Down? Yeah. Alright. Gotta keep in mind, though, this thing is going to be attackable right after this, so before we do that, let's reload our shotgun. And enchant it. And heal. Alright, here we go. 
Oh, I just blew up two of its heads. My god. That's not what I meant to look at. Let's grab that. Oh, it's a silver necklace. Maybe it's not the silver bracelet. Or maybe... Whoa. Maybe both the silver necklace and the bracelet must be on the statue over here to open the door. Let's try it. Oh, I can't skip it. Yeah, it needs both parts. Where her wrists should bear jewelry, there are only worn grooves and flecks of silver dust. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, let's... I guess go back to the main room. Unless there's something I could do. Could I, like, jam these shut somehow or something? Or, like, would dispel magic work? I doubt it. Oh, if you move, it stops reloading. Okay, this is not the room that had the silver. It's back here. I'm just gonna run through everything, to be honest. This is the room, yes. Since the birth of the human race within the universe, this is humanity's dawn. Can I do anything with the candles behind this thing? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Let's try to spell. Yeah, I'm going to try taking the bracelet from the main room, although I don't think that's possible. I strongly suspect you can't take anything back. Whoops. Nope, you can't. So what am I missing? What do I need to do in this room? Some candle stuff, possibly. But I can't seem to mess with the candles. Hmm. What if I did, like, a damage field here? Would it prevent the door from closing? Because it's sort of like just a shield. That's not the right one. Nope, that didn't work. Huh, I just learned Spell 9. Combination of Area and Project. I'm just trying new spell combinations just to see if there's something I can use here. I doubt you'd have to do that. It just doesn't seem like it, but... Yeah, let's try that new spell. Unknown. Cast it? Oh, that looked like an AoE, like an explosion around me. Interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. One of these little side pathways when you're going down these trap places has a bracelet. Well, I know exactly what to do with that. Here we go. Foolish statue. Enter by Oh, 
Oh, you know what? Let's try out that new spell that looks like an AoE. I don't know if that worked. If it did, it didn't work very well. Oh, it's super dark here. <laughs> okay. It's not going to reveal any new runes, right? Like, n yeah, it's not going to tell me what it's for. Woo! No, 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 no! Let me move! Oh! Definitely a shotgun enemy. Doing something. Just got that one. Those are big. Holy crap. They don't seem to be one hit kills though, thankfully, despite their size. I'm gonna save anyway. Oh, I can't save right now. Let's go the other way. Whoops. Looks like a puzzle room. Oh, I just found this controller section in the menu. Never thought to look there. Uh, so it says Z button reload, hold to load all rounds. Okay, so maybe that's how you reload your shotgun without having to go into the menu. Let's try it. So right now it's not fully loaded. Hmm. I do have Z assigned, right? Hmm, I'm a little bit con used by how you assign the different controls in the Dolphin emulator. Uh, I'm just gonna skip it, it's fine. Whatever I'm doing now is working just fine. Statue of an unknown goddess, seated in a classical pose, she appears to be carrying something valuable. I guess I have to do something to free it? Statue of carved granite, depicting a ceremonial temple guard. It appears to be keeping watch 
on the seated goddess in the corner of the room. It's interesting, it like highlights key terms and concepts. So obviously I need to like turn it, right? So I need to keep this depressed, right? Or just run really fast. No, don't do that. Whew. There's a panel recessed slightly into the wall. It looks like it can be pressed. Sure, press it. Press all the buttons. Activate all the traps. Expecting more fanfare. Guess that did something. I think that's the way I came. Wait. It's not? So both ways have this little thing in the corner. It's a little broken off. Killer. It's odd. Yeah, this one has it too. <laughs> well, that looks like poison gas. What are these? I'm dying. Actually, I'm dying very slowly, though. There appears to be a hole in the wall. It is large enough for a small dog to pass through. What? Oh, it's talking... It's ignoring the force field completely. Do I get a small dog? As a companion? That'd be nice. Oh. Good. Goes away. Yep. Hurts when I touch it. Just like all the other force fields. I'm not even close to it. Dispel it. Oh, wrong one. It's also the wrong one. So I need all three. 